Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, channel where I talk about comics, guns, and other things that are fun. Um, today I like to talk about uh, one of my other hobbies, and that's astronomy. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have a Celestron Omni XLT150, so it's about a six inch uh, mirror. Really nice telescope. Uh, I got it for a good price from somebody that I know here in town. Uh, it also came with uh, some motor drive, so it's not a go-to uh, mount. I can't type in numbers or go through a catalog to get it to go to, say, M42, the Orion Nebula, which happens to be one of my favorite nebulas, uh, but it will track. So once it's on the object, as long as I have it nice and aligned, it'll continue to stay with that object. Now, Obviously, a lot of you who happen to click on this video because I'm going to have the name of the telescope in there that know probably more about telescopes and astronomy than I do, uh, just be aware that this video is actually for people who subscribe to my channel. And if you want to become an, a subscriber, that would be great. I, um, I've been into astronomy for quite a bit of time. Um, this is probably about my fifth or sixth telescope that I've owned. I started off with the Celestron um, Astromaster, uh, the, I think it was like the four inch mirror. <clears throat> and I really love that one. I, I wish I still had it because it's, you know, it's an easy setup. It's very light to take it outside really quick. And that's really the first telescope that I used to see the Orion Nebula and uh, hooked on that one ever since then. Since then, I had a, I, I, I um, found a 10 inch uh, Dobsonian telescope on Craigslist in a town nearby and I got that for a really cheap price. Uh, kind of a little, little banged up, a little old looking uh, and I went through and took it apart, repainted the, the uh, optical tube assembly or the ODA and um, from there I had a, um, I knew a person from another town close to me. I, I'm not gonna really mention, you know, where these places are in my videos, but re really close to me, this person was moving uh, to another state. Her husband had built at their home a personal observatory. And he was a really smart guy. I never got to meet him. He had passed away before I actually met her. And um, so they had this personal observatory he had built this big telescope. It was like a 12 inch mirror. Now, that, it, that's a pretty good size mirror. Um, but what was so big about it is that he had built the Oda, the optical tube assembly himself. And it was made out of wood. And it, it, it was a square tube and it was wood. It did have cutouts in it to reduce some of the weight. But I mean, this thing was huge. It was mounted to a pier uh, so it just stayed in the same place all the time. And the mount that it was on, and this, for my, from people that I know who are going to watch this video, you're not going to know much of this stuff. Um, but the but for people who click on it, who know a little bit something, uh, this mount was, I mean, it was a heavy duty mount. And I mean, it was, it was heavy too. It was a Byers 812, um, go, not go to, but um, motorized mount. This thing was gnarly, huge. And even though it was uh, attached to a pier and bolted down, the guy still had the original base to it. So during this whole moving process that she was going to since she was by herself, I helped her out with the yard sale and a couple of other things. And she told me that if I wanted the, the scope and the mount, that as long as I had a way to get it out of there, that I can have it. So. I did take it. Heck, why not? She's, you know, she's letting me have it for the help that I did for her. And I didn't help her because just to get anything. I, I helped her because, you know, she was a nice lady um, and I just wanted to help. But anyway, that scope, it ended up being too big to really move around. It just kind of sat in my garage. So I, you know, I kind of broke it down. I think I sold the mirror to somebody and then the rest of the rest of the stuff, the, the Oda, I um, ended up using for target practice and turned into a bunch. 
Unfortunately, I came into some um, a little bit of hard times, not too bad, but I had to sell the telescopes that I had. So moving forward to now that it was probably about like five years since I've had a telescope, I finally got to get this one from somebody I knew. <clears throat> really good telescope. Um, right now, I'm actually looking into getting into some astrophotography. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, um, learning all I can. Most of it has been just DSLR photography, starting off with like the Milky Way, uh, working on Orion, stacking images. Um, it's a trial and error basis right now, most of it being air. I haven't been happy with any of the results right now, but I'm just gonna keep on at it, keep on at it. Um, I am gonna get a T-ring adapter for my camera so that I can put on the, the this focuser to try to take pictures through the telescope, get better pictures of Orion and other, um, other objects. Uh, I like star clusters, uh, so I'm gonna be working on those too. Um, also, I'm gonna be getting some new lenses for my camera to you know, uh, do wide angle um, Milky Way photos. So if you're interested in astrophotography, telescopes, uh, astronomy in general, and you wanna keep up with what I do, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm not gonna do it on like a regular basis like some of the other guys with much better channels do. I love those guys. I don't know any of them off the top of my head right now. Uh, I think one of them is backyard astrophotography or, or backyard telescope, something like that. He's in Canada. He, he's a really good one. I like watching him. Uh, but along with that, I'm not really good at editing my videos just yet. So I won't be able to post my pictures until I learn that on my videos. But if you subscribe, if, um, if you look up on Instagram, Joey Rivera, or on Facebook, Joey Rivera. Actually, just leave it to Instagram. I probably won't accept too many people on Facebook. I like to keep that just family and close friends. But look me up on Instagram, Joey Rivera. Uh, I'll try to put a link if I don't mess it up. And if I get any good astrophotography photos, I will post it to there. Um, along with that stuff, I'm actually looking at getting an Orion um, astrograph. Either that or I see that a company has a um, thing, what is that? It's like a Moxitov or something. Basically, it's uh, it's got the front lens, the back mirror, and then a, the front mirror. I, I, for, I can't recall what that is right now, but it's, a, it's also an astrograph. It's about the same price as the Orion. So if you're interested in, the, in astronomy um, and want to see uh, my progression through this, go ahead and subscribe. I, uh, and check out a lot of my other videos too. I do comic books, like I said, and I do, um, I do stuff on guns. It's not necessarily reviews. It's most me just living my life, doing the things I like to do and posting about it. So... Um, Thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to be posting a video after this one, uh, maybe some, um, um, some back issue comics. Since I haven't gotten really any other comic books in right now, uh, I haven't really ordered anything. And it probably won't be later until the end of the month until I start getting some of my other ones that I have subscribed to. So I might even do a, a knife video. I said I was going to do one a while back. I did the video, but didn't like the way it came out. So I'm going to try to do another one. All right, guys, um, have a good one. Like, subscribe if you see what you like. And um, I'll, of course, keep trying to do it. All right, thanks, Scott. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.